Oh, where are we going? And can I ever come back? Hello everybody, Torgal here, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. Last time, I pooped my pants right here when I got out of the water, if you guys remember. And you told me that apparently was a warper. I still don't know if that thing, it, it, it sure sounded hostile with that screech that it did and whatnot. And there was also a big update to Subnautica, and I looked through all the items and so on. And I noticed that the titanium now looks different. I'm, I'm pretty sure this was smaller and almost like black. You guys remember? And I also think, let's see, in this one here. No, they still look the same, but... I think the other coral samples here, these... I'm pretty sure they got a different update here. They look differently to me. Um, but that's about the only thing that I see different on the items. Um, and there's also a cuttlefish. Apparently it's a pet that you can have. This is not on. No. Okay, this is not flashing. I don't remember this being on when there's no message. But anyway, so... Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get a med pack. I am all refreshed. I got... I ate, I drank and everything. And then I wanted to check here. Um, the camera got a new HUD. The Seamoth got a new HUD. I can't really tell what the difference is in the HUD here. Maybe those rings weren't on the side. And I've been looking around to see if I can find this, this warper, weird alien looking thing. Anyways, I'm gonna drive closer. <laughs> I'm being chicken. I'm gonna drive right up over here so I don't need to swim far so we can get on land and check out that energy pulse origin right there. Alright, that should be good. Oh, and I learned something. You guys remember I said that I always pressed E to get out of this? When you press escape you're still in the in the driver's seat. I didn't know that. I did that earlier by mistake because, you know, I love pressing escape in this game, which you're not supposed to. All right, let's go ahead and start getting up there on that island and check it out. I also brought the, the what is it called? The repulsion cannon, right? Propulsion cannon. The propulsion cannon. Just in case we need it. All right. Got a little bit of water out of the suit. Just checking, you know what? I'm gonna take this thing here. That looks like something we can pick up. I'll take the lithium. I have tons of lithium. Anything to scan here? Nope. Alright, let's just walk over there. We have a sprint on land. Oh wow, am I supposed to stay underwater? Well, let's check it out above water first, that's fine. I can always bring the cyclops around. That is very interesting. Ooh. That looks like a power cable that's broken and... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. That's an... That's not an artifact, right? Purple tablet. Cool. No idea what we need it for. I think it's part of a crafting recipe. Later. Oh, that's a plant that grew on it. Okay, it's not bursted. What's happening here? What is all this for? Can I jump up here? No. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. A background message is being broadcast throughout this facility. Partial translation available. Message reads, warning, unidentified craft in orbit of this planet will be destroyed. 
prevent. Okay. So, is this what shut down the Aurora? Or is that uh, the new vessel that's going to come? Now we get a message. So we just triggered something here by coming here. Very cool looking, this place. I still would love to find a way in without having to... Hey. Oh, really? Oh, there we go. Without having to jump in the water, because I am scared of whatever that thing is in the water. So I think I'm going to run back to the Cyclops. We listen to the message. And... Then... We'll bring it around. And check if there's an underwater entrance. Ooh, there's lots of stuff underwater. Checking if these weird creatures are anywhere here. Alright, I really hope I didn't miss a PDA or something. Oh! Well, okay. Never mind. Big entrance right here. <laughs> what? Oof. I just got goosebumps. Insert tablet. Which was laying right next to the door. Isn't that convenient? I'm so scared! <laughs> Alright, let's go in. Aha, we can scan. Guys, I have goosebumps. Oh, this is so exciting. Very pretty. Very pretty. Must be a big pain in the butt to clean. Imagine how much dust there is. What is all this for? Oh my god. Of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Looks like circuit boards to me. Oh, what do you want here? Data terminal. Download data. Do it. Unknown language. Attempting translation. This terminal was discovered within the alien facility on the surface of planet 4546B. It is likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the space at uh, the alien species which the scientists technology evolved or genetically selected sensor apparatus to hear and understand information being broadcast by the device and to communicate communicate back. This sentence doesn't make any sense to me. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of tele telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Using the evidence gathered from this device, it may be possible to extract comprehensible data from other such devices. Should they exist, assessment, further alien data required. And the force field control, this terminal matches no known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via this terminal to the nearby force field, yada yada. Okay. And here, nothing that we missed. Alright, good. Signal is down there. Okay, I'm glad I didn't come in the water then, because... It doesn't... What? Why does it look like I'm swimming now? You guys see that? What's it doing with the left hand there? Oh, what do we have here? What suit am I wearing? Oh yeah, not the radioactive... Uh... Can I scan you? An ion cube.
This green mineral substance has now entering the periodic table and is unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within likely grown artificially cubic appearance suggested has been cut from a larger deposit each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of five kilotons of tnt under the right conditions the energy could be released in a controlled manner likely used as batteries but would require substantial power source to be recharged valuable energy resource and That's cool. <laughs> He's like checking it out. Oh. Yeah, let's drink some. Is this a trap? Are these just light sources? There's another one up here. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Maybe I should go back and... Oh, there's another green data download. There we go. And another cube. Thank you. The aliens ever find me, they're gonna kick my butt for stealing all their stuff. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the PDA data. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra hard, non reactive metal amalgam. Amalgam. Synthesized from off world materials. There's no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there's evidence the designer intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. The facility consists of the upper en engineering section where this schematic was found and the control room which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Control. The control room in the lower section houses in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Okay. All that we found out by this data terminal. The language that we don't understand, but we know how to translate. <laughs> Makes total the probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Ooh. Oh. Okay. What's happening? Oh. I did not uh, plan on coming down here, but here we are. I have another one in the Cyclops. Okay. Oh, uh, man. Are you gonna send me back up? This is so cool. It's quite an elevator. Alright, I'm gonna run over to the Cyclops and get that purple artifact and meet you back here. Alright, so I got the other purple tablet right here, and I figured that while we're on the Cyclops, why don't we listen to the to the message before we go back in there. Aurora, it's Sunbeam. We've made orbit, and scans have found a landing site on the planet that's only rated hazardous. It's our best shot. We've sent you the coordinates. We'll be there in two days' time. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay, a timer started. 40 minutes. Are oh, you kidding me? It wants to land where I'm at. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm confused right now. So... What, if I make this, then I am leaving the planet? <laughs> What's happening? Uh, by the way, I held on to these two here with the ion cubes because I don't know if we're gonna need them in that facility. 
I have no idea. And I found another broken purple fragment on my way back over here that I scanned and it just gave me two titanium, by the way. So we, we scanned it before a regular tablet. Um, and yeah, now I'm running back in. I'm, I'm gonna save you guys all these hallways because there's nothing else to see. And um, when I'm on the elevator, then we'll see what's behind the door number two. All right, let's take a jump down here again, or whatever this is. It's so cool. What a great idea. Okay, and I hope that we don't need any more purple things. Because I don't have any more. Put it in there. Oh, that's a moon pool, right? As a big door, can I drive the Cyclops in here? Oh, that would be so cool. I'm making this my base. <laughs> I don't need to build anything. I wonder if you can do that. If I could like place something right here. It would be very interesting. You know, I have that thing on me. Yeah, I pressed escape. I did it. I was so careful the entire episode. Um, let's see. No, it doesn't look like I can place anything in here. That would have been very cheap. What? Hey, <laughs> look at that. I could. That is cool. All right, never mind. Okay, let's get this one back here. In case there are some baddies. And let's drink. Let's stay full as long as we can. Where is the... What happened to my... Oh, it's because it's big. I didn't see it. I was looking for a small icon. Alright, let's see what else is down here. Wait. Oh, no, no. It can't be. We took down the long elevator. This must be a new section. You know, I'm wondering. Is there a key binding to turn these things off? I... I th think there is. Let's check here for a second. Cycle slot. Jump PDA. No, it doesn't look like it. That we can turn this off. It'd be kind of nice to be able to turn these off while you're looking around. Just so you're not so distracted by them. At least I get distracted by them. Alright, let's check up here. Another ion cube. I'm just so worried because there's so many glowing things that I'm gonna miss something like a PDA or whatever. Let's go up here. I know there was a hallway back there. Oh, wow. This is... How high up does this go? Oh! Is that one to take? Yes, I think it is. Nice! I wonder if that is for you to enter from here when you... Because I, I never checked if this door... I didn't see if that door down there was closed or if there was a door. You know, if you come in with the Cyclops maybe from this way and then want to open the doors. Oh, there is another force field. Now, 33 minutes. No way to get up there. Huh? Or just huh? sneak. Huh? Alright, there's nothing up here. Indicate the facilities control room lies beyond this doorway. Well, let's get in there. I like that all the keys that we need are in the facility. You don't need to go somewhere else. It's kind of convenient, right? I did it. I don't know what to do here or what all this is for. I'm, I'm excited. 
Because I'm pretty sure it's very linear. You go through here. Yeah. This evil facility. I don't know. Should I disable the facility or not? I have no idea. Did not scan anything? Well, uh... Let's click it. I... Okay, it's checking me out. Um... What? The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. What do you mean infected? Did this thing just infect me self-scan? F. It just... Poked me. Forming self scan. The bacterial infection in your system has progressed. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Scans of available alien data indicate the presence of a second facility elsewhere on the planet. Evidence suggests it is located 800 meters below sea level, approximately one kilometer southwest of this installation. Information recorded to data bank. So I'm I'm confused now. Did this thing poke me and infect me, or did it check my blood? New PDA data. Because I don't remember being infected. We did a self scan a while ago. I'm looking for a beacon. It says 800 meters underwater, one kilometer southwest, which is fun because. I have no idea how you find out where is south and north. I, I never figured that out. Um, what did it say? Oh, yes. I got something else here. Data bank. This device contains function functional information regarding a second alien facility on the planet. The facility was built in a depth of 700 meters, approximately one kilometer southwest of the surface facility. Disease research facility. Personnel 7. Life specimen study synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Karar. Uh, infection of life specimens with bacteria. Observation of immune response. Surviving specimens sent to primary facility for further analysis. Precaution remote containment and research site to reduce risk of contagion. Offsite thermal power generator. Ground to air quarantine enforcement platform in case of security breach. In the event of outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off-world. Um, 30 minutes. We have a craft coming here. Am I supposed to finish this in 30 minutes? Well, go... To... <laughs> Do I have... I don't have a, a marker, so I don't know where this underground facility is. Or the, the, the deep one down there. Huh. Okay. I don't know what's gonna happen here. There's a normal way down here. A ramp over there. I don't think they're gonna hide something. To the sides. But we might as well run around once. Okay, and then there was this other hallway I want to get to. The one uh, further back here. Um, we have to go back down. Nyaum. Whoa. Rip it. Oh, I could have turned on the other one. And then it was... It was down there. That's where it was. Yep. Where is this going to? Aha! That looks like another gate. You guys remember on the... Oh, whatever that island was called. We found this in that cave underground. 
there's still no like a a control panel or something like how do you use these i don't know pressure plate no <laughs> ah that would have been funny Okay, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here now. So the scan here is kind of worrying me now. Infected, thanks. Okay, is there anything else in the tablet here, voice log? Mm. No. Hmm, so I just need to find... Oh, maybe... Maybe we have to wait for another message or something. I am not sure what I would like to try, though, is if we can drive, because we I'm going to wait now 27 minutes. Um, which way did I come from? Right here. And then from over there. I'm going to get back to the Cyclops, and I would like... You know what? Let's actually dive down here for a quick minute. I hope I can get back out of this water. Well, it certainly looks like this is open. This is such a cool parking garage. And there's these other facilities. So why don't we... Because we have nothing else to do right now. Or maybe I should look around on the island a little bit more. Something like that. Otherwise, get in the Cyclops. And dive down to these other um, pods down there. Or these other buildings. And also see if we can drive it into this facility. That would be really cool. And, um, also, you guys remember, it says right here, the energy pulse origin, right? Right there. But I don't have one of the, the thingamajigs on me. So is that signal always going to stay there for me to always find this place again? Um, otherwise I'm thinking of possibly dropping a beacon here just so I can find it again. So I did run up the island right here and started recording again because there's this cave entrance. And I want to make sure that there's not something here that is important to the story. And let's get the flashlight out. I see you. Oh bugger, I hate these things. Face huggers. Oh boy. A whole cave system. I have not played a game, guys, in a long time. That is giving me so many goosebumps when I play it. It's not like it's a it's a spooky game or anything, but Wow. Wow. Um I'm a little bit scared jumping down there. Um, I'm not going to jump down there. There's got to be a way down there. Oh, I forgot. I can't sprint. All the lights go off and I'm already lost. Uh. <laughs> ah. Ooh, this is confusing. All right, this is where I came in. So we got to go this way. Where are you? I see you. Come here. Oh, well, not the boulder? I didn't know we can move boulders. You. And get out of here. <laughs> Any more creepy crawlers? Oh, so... Oh, is that... What is this here? More lithium. And I also want to check here. Diamond! Are you kidding me? There's some gold. Oh my! Um, so right there is where we came from. Do they die? Yeah, he looks dead. Come here. Right against the wall right there. Splat. 
Um, I guess let's go up first. This is where I was. I did not expect there to be... I'm taking it all. Why not? I must say there's nothing here. Oh, I see another purple thingy up there on the on the on the overpath or whatever you want to call this. So that's right over here. Let's sprint. Sorry that it gets dark, but I want to get moving here. Thank you very much. I'm glad I took the time to look around this um, this island, so. We can go on the higher. Oh man. I don't need the flashlight right now, so I can sprint. I see you. Where are you? I'm back here. See ya! Wow, there is so much lithium here. I have not. I mean, I'm taking all this stuff, guys, because I've not had it this easy farming, right? There's another portal here. You know what? I'll, I'll break all this stuff and clean it up between episodes. How's that? Get out of here. Ooh, there's a, there's a thingamajig here. Insert ion cube. Hmm. How much time do we have? 18 minutes. Let's do it. I don't know what it's going to happen. What's going to happen here? What's happening? We've got a portal. Where are you going? Do I want to take it? <laughs> I have 18 minutes. I feel like I really want to take it, but I also want to stay here. Ah! What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't is this going to run out? Ah, <sighs> what the heck? Uh, uh, where are we going? And can I ever come back? It's still open. Ah, we're on the island. We are, it should say dry land right there. Yes. Oh, okay. So, we can come back to the dry island very easily, or go back to there. But why, why do I want to be here? That is my question. Like, what's the point of me coming back here? In case I want to set up a base here or something? I'm, I don't know. Because there was nothing. We scanned all the facilities and stuff, right? All right, let's go back and continue exploring these cave systems. There's so much to do right now. Okay, so it looks like this one stays open. If I'm ever gonna find it again, I don't know. Where did I come from? I think I came from over here, yes. And like I said, between episodes, I'm gonna scour this entire island to get all the materials here. Oh, boy. That is one of those things, now we can take a look at it, and I don't need to be so... Can I pick you up? <laughs> I can't. Check that out. What is this, like a squid alien? Or something? I, I, I've been exploring, I cannot find my way down to that, to that water thing that we saw. But, there is so many materials in these caves, in, in this island. I'm gonna have to add cargo boxes. I'm definitely gonna pick all this up. Because um, after this, whatever happens here today, next episode, I want to start building a real base somewhere. Um, not in the in the beginner area. I would like, look at this. Look how much stuff there is. Let me turn on the flashlight. This is bananas. I mean, granted, a lot of it is salt, but there's so much things on the wall. And lithium I'm gonna have for a lifetime after this one. 
But like I said, I cannot find my way. I've been running through these hallways here, left and right. And I'm not sure if there's something. So what I'm going to do now is get back towards um, that landing area because I, I want to I wanna see what's going to happen when this guy is going to try to land here. If it's going to be shot down because it says that the security protocol is in effect. And well, we'll see when we get to it. And I got sidetracked. <laughs> I got a minute and 30. I just wanted to show you real quick. I put another cargo box here. We're gonna go right now. We, we need to go to the island because I got a minute and 24 seconds. And I put two more over here and all just in preparation for clearing out this island. Please don't let there be some weird alien thingy. Alright, get up there. And one minute. Okay, so I'm doing okay. I, I got a minute. We gotta wait now to see what's gonna happen. Where is my propulsion cannon? Just in case I need it. I changed all the batteries and so on because I need a lot of flashlight and whatnot and I I don't know I don't really want to stand directly underneath it right if it's supposed to land here it's got to be a really small spaceship if it can land right here what are they coming with a pod okay I'm I'm excited I wonder what's gonna happen I have not saved in a long time so There's some. Whoa! Holy moly! Look at this! The entire building is like a cannon or something. Attention. Patching in a local broadcast from the Sunbeam. I don't believe it. There's someone down there. Aurora, survivor. We have your PDA signature. I don't know how you walked away from that wreck, let alone survived since then. But we'll be happy to bring you on board and hightail back to Federation space. Stand back. We're approaching the landing site now. There it is. Breaking atmosphere in five, four, three. What is that? No, the red spike. From the spike. Guys, I'm I'm speechless right now. I'm I'm just speechless. This this is, was epic. I mean, we just watched a bunch of people die, which is very sad. But I'm speechless. I I don't know what we're gonna do now. Um. I, I, um, I'm, <laughs> it's not often that I am speechless, but I don't, ooh, it's moving back. So I'm also guessing that we don't have a way of actually communi communicating back to like an approaching ship so we could have warned them or something like hey dude we just researched this and it says that there is some defenses in 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 place because i'm infected um you know don't come down directly on the cannon maybe come down on the other side of the planet i i'm speechless um so what uh we gonna do now I think that this is it for today's episode. Um, I the, the Cyclops seems to be in a safe location. I am going to unload a bunch of these things here, like the ion cubes, this and so on. I'm going to do that right now. And just get as little as... Um, leave as much inventory space as I can. Leave the Seamoth and whatnot. And I am going to... Um, go through all these cave systems and get all the materials out of there. And store them away. And then next episode, like I said, I'm gonna have to keep this one on me. 
Can I shift this? No. Next episode, I would like to look for a building um, location. I'm sorry, I'm out of words, but I am just literally speechless. This was, this was amazing, but also really, really sad at the same time. I'm um, not gonna need the habitat builder. I'm not gonna need the scanner repair tool. This, I'm gonna leave all this stuff here. The two ion cubes. Yeah, just like that. I'm gonna go in there and then fill my inventory a couple times. And bring it all in here, just as much as I can. And in case I find my way down to, to this lower section, I let you know. Otherwise, we might take the sea moth next time and look underneath the island, even though these alien warper thingies are kind of scaring me. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I had a blast. I love this game. I love the story. It's really, really cool. And until next time, take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.